Okay, so here we are in uh, Pisac, Valle Sagrado, Cusco, the country of Peru. And we have Serena. She's going to talk a little bit about uh, her traveling and her, how, how, how she came about wanting to travel around Latin America and maybe possibly the world. She's from uh, Rome, Italy. And here we have her, Serena. Hello. I'm Serena. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, this is my first uh, trip. Uh, this is the first time that I'm here in Peru, and it's, this is also my first trip by my own, just with uh, a bag and a bag. And this trip, how long are you planning on? on I don't know. I don't have the coming back flight. <laughs> so you bought a one-way ticket yes, to one -way ticket. to Peru? Or you were at another country? No, I was in another country before I was in Costa Rica because I had You mentioned something there. about nine months from your job. You took yeah. a break from for nine months. Do you think you'll travel for the nine months? Or what are you going to do? It depends on the money. <laughs> I see. Yes. Even if I'm looking for... Uh, now, you said you have a regular job. What do you, what do, you do back home, back in Rome? Now, what, what, what will I do? What, what's your job back My in Rome? Job is, uh, of a train company and just an administrative work so it's accounting something like this no the idea of just leaving a secure job your house your and, your and family your the friends thing is that it's um, a secure job in this particular period of the Italian economy because that really secure job but the thing that you have to risk <laughs> in a life you want to be happy and everyone chooses his happiness and now what, every time we can change ideas that's, that's what I think but now I think that this was not my happiness so I have to risk, to take a risk I don't know what will happen but I can say that I've tried was it pretty scary making that move, just leaving everything behind, your job, yeah, your house? It, it wasn't easy. I cannot say it was easy. It wasn't easy. No, it is not because I, went, I, I have this job where I work till I was 19, now I'm 33. So I, I, was, I had a second job for many years and I put a house in Italy and it is not easy in Italy. So it was, uh, it was good for me. I have friends, I have my family, and I love them all. So you live, you live in Rome all your life. You started working at a very secure, very hard to find job yeah. from the time you were 19. And you worked there for um, 14 What does your family and friends think about you? <laughs> you don't they have to say it, crazy. but it, they think you're <laughs> no, crazy. No, most, uh, the, most of them know me very, very well. So who knows me knows that I meant to do that. Because I was not, you know, my name Serena in English means quiet, and I wasn't quiet. <laughs> so that they know that who knows me really, really knows me, knows that I was in need. So that it was also my dream. Cool. So, so it was a it was a big dream of yours. It finally came true. Yeah. You have a lot of friends that have done this before? Many friends. I think the friendship is the only good thing that I've done. Let me ask you, um, what would you say to the people that are kind of sitting on the fence that would like to travel? Because there's a lot of people who say we want to travel the world, do this, and that. but you know, we got responsibilities, we got the house, we got the job, we got the car payments. We, what, what, what would you say to people like that? that? They have to raise if they want to be happy. If they feel. But the important thing is, that we have to know what we want. We don't have to uh, listen to other thoughts. Because everyone has its way to see the life. We have our own way to see life. And it doesn't matter what the other are going to tell you. Everyone will tell you. Because it happened to me that I was doing something terrible because I have a secure job, I have a house. I had everything in Italy. Uh, but if you feel 
feel that you have to do it, just do it. Because universe, I don't know, we can call it God, universe, and I don't want to be so spiritual. But someone helps you when you want something. Because I don't have so much money to go around the world. I don't have so much money, I'm not rich. But I think that someone is helping me. Because uh, I, I meet the right people in the right place. I have to to listen what happens around me. and But I don't have to listen to other people. Because everyone has this problem. In the bunker. Kind of block yourself from the negativity and follow your instincts and your dreams. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Your inner voice. Your inner voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone knows what, what, what we want to do. But sometimes we, we listen to our mother, father, friends, and we forget what we were thinking just because we are, we are listening to others and it's not good. Everyone, I think, can make mistakes. Everyone. But it, it is not a mistake if you follow your inner voice. Even if for others it's a mistake. I don't care. What could happen? If you have, you can find another job. You can, I don't know, if you have an house, you can rent it. You can sell it. There is a solution for everything. <laughs> so it's a little scary, but... You, you, you would advise people to just make the jump. Yeah. What about preparation? What kind of preparation did you have in order to do a trip like this? Nothing, no preparation. <laughs> I don't think I had my... Uh, just I was listening to other guys that I met that they already did a kind of trip like, uh, trip like this. But in Italy we are not used to do this kind of trip, so... Uh, I just went on the internet just to know what I had to bring in my in my backpacker because uh, I didn't know what I, I would need. No, no particular preparation. I don't I have a particular preparation. Okay, so basically just very little preparation, follow your instincts and enjoy life. Enjoy life. Because I think that people know that they can, can enjoy life because they are trapped maybe you say in English in this life that society has built to us but it's terrible because we wake up early in the morning we go in an office that is we, we, sometimes we don't have a good relationship with our, with, with our colleagues or our uh, all the staff we go always in hurry if you live in a big city you're always in hurry and then you arrive at home, you prepare dinner, and then you go to sleep. Why did you enjoy your life? <laughs> you don't have time to enjoy it. We can live in a simple way. I think it could be possible, even if my, in my country that is a really expensive country, because we have many